Hello, welcome to episode two. This just in. We thought a line was wrong. D Dr. Aaron Roth. Dr. Aaron. Here we have some footage of uh, animal brutality. Let's take a look. Oh my God! What is he doing to that? Poor oh my animal? God! Oh jeez! What is what he is doing to that man? poor animal? Oh it's <laughs> ear fell off. <laughs> Did you break it? Oh my! His <laughs> ear fell off. Oh my! Oh my. <laughs> the Catechism of the Catholic Church says man can use animals for food, clothing, for pets, and for manual labor. It also claims that they can be used for medical experiments because it assists the human race. Not that. That that is just ter that's, that's terrible, wrong. terrible, terrible, Malicious. terrible. Did did you see that ear of the kangaroo? Uh, just tragic. I, I can't believe it. Who would do that? Just now we'll turn to the expert, Dr. 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 Aaron Roth. Well, there must be respect for everything God created because it is good. This includes everything from humans to plant life. Oh, plant life. And that introduces our episode Indeed. of respect and creation and animals. I just can't believe that uh, they did that. that the they ear! Who would throw the shoe? Who would do that? Who would hurt a, 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 a little <laughs> root? That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. Okay. Get down. The corporal works of mercy all play a big role in respecting humans, which are creations of God. The first corporal. The second corporal works of mercy to give drink to the thirsty. <laughs> Speaking of, I'm really thirsty. Praise <laughs> be the Lord! <laughs> After my first was quenched, we will introduce the third corporal work of mercy. But first, a little advertisement time. Pango Electric, across Wisconsin, 7886800. Call them for all your electric plug-in needs. The third corporal work of mercy. Shelter, the homeless. Whoa, y hey, do you need a place to stay or something? <laughs> I suppose. All right, are you hungry? I can help you out. You have any leftovers? Uh, sure, come on, here. Let me help you out. Dang. Can I remove your door? It's okay, it's a little sunny out. Here. Okay, it's nice and slow. Here we go. <laughs> Fourth, we need to clothe the naked. Naked man. Today I'm going to go visit my cousin Billy in jail, which demonstrates the fifth corporal work of mercy. He is a ransom of captive. <laughs> Cell 238, you got five minutes. Wow, I'm glad to see you, Mike. Billy, haven't you found God in here? Oh, yes I have. I'm not going to go back to being a paddle ever again. <laughs> Good. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> the sixth corporal work of mercy to visit the sick. Today, I'm going to be visiting my great-great-great-great-great-grandmother, Olga. She has the Russian plague, and she's on her deathbed. Don't come any closer. The Russian plague is contagious. How are you doing, great-great-great-great-grandma Olga? Oh, I'm not doing too well. I feel very sick. Stay with me, Olga! After my great, 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 great grandma Olga was resuscitated back to life, she had one more thing to say. After my great, 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 great nephew came to visit me, I noticed something. I noticed <laughs> that God wants me to be with him soon and that I'm ready to leave this earth. But him visiting me gave me the comfort and the confidence to move on. Unfortunately, my great, 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 great grandma Olga has passed away. This leads us into the seventh corporal work of mercy to bury the dead. Alright, Greg, set it on easy. We need a break.
It should do. God puts animals on this earth for all benefit. We use animals as a resource, but we should respect them as well. In, in the Bible, Genesis, chapter 1, verse 26, 26, God says, Let us make man in our image, in our likeness. Let them rule over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, over the livestock, over all the earth, and over all creatures that move along the ground. He means that you rule above them, but you treat them with respect. No, animal rights are a very opinionated topic. Really? The Bible doesn't, doesn't really have an exact direction really? on how to treat animals. But through common knowledge, you would have to think that God wants us to respect them, but use them as resources. This concludes episode two. Thank you. Oh, sweets on the track, yeah, and wheezy on the back. Animal truth and man, that stuff is whack. Oh, yeah, I'm killing this beat. I respect animals, but yeah, I still eat meat. Yeah, respect for creation is number one. Being nice to people is really fun. But CC said that animals are great. Respect them, it's not a debate. See it late. Take a walk. It really is. God created things to use them, not abuse them. All things I own, I treat with respect, not neglect. Time to reflect. How many times do we hurt our things? Be the man, you think before the swing. Uh. You mess with people less financially straight. Giving them a dollar would really be great. Don't hate. Keep those who hunger, like Kevin Durant from the OKC okay, okay, Thunder. Give dreams of us parts, like Kobe hitting threes from beyond the arch. Cause he's making it rain. Shelter the homeless. Pull those in their birthday suit. If you walk past them on your daily commute, visit the prisoners in the cells so they don't hear the feel of those bells. This is the sick, even if it's quick like a flash. Spare the dead, regardless of that. Why won't you go?